All right, now we've finished the lower part. Sorry about that um, mistake I made with the, the brick and stuff. But now we got to do the middle part, which is the base of the walls and uh, the walls and uh, the ceiling joist. So to do that, um, I've got to think about this. And the one thing I want to show you too is, is if I dimension this, just want to make sure this is correct. From here to here should be eight foot. it is. Oops. Um, there's another thing I can do too is measure over here. I can click on that and go from here to here. It shows you that it's eight foot long. See that right there? That's a measure tool. I can escape there. And that's correct. And now what I want to do is I want to do, uh, so I'm going to go, before I do anything, I've got the first thing I do is I put my sub flooring. So offset 0.75. This is three quarter inch sub flooring. Click on that line. Click above it, and click L Enter, and click put put a line in there. Once I do that, I want to bring this line up eight feet because that's where the ceiling is. Because the ceiling is going to be eight feet above that. So O Enter, eight apostrophe, Enter. Click on that. Click above it. There's that right there. Draw a line from this point here down to here. Offset that six inches. O Enter, six Enter. And now I've got to put my bottom plate in. So I'm going to offset this two inches. Oops. O enter, two enter. Click on this line here because it's going to go two inches up there. Then I'm going to do the top at the same time, two. So click there, down one. Click on that one you just did. Do it again, down. Hit escape. Hit TR, enter, enter. I'm going to trim this part and this part. So I'm going to trim. Click on that, click on that. Get rid of it. Or you can also right click and right and drag, drag to the left. You can see if I drag to the right, it won't do it. But if I drag to the left, it will get rid of it. There it is. Then I'll put my lines in there to show this being cut through. So L, enter, click there, click there, enter, enter, to finish it and start a new one. Enter, enter, go to the top, click there, drag down, enter, 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 just keep going down and so forth. Enter, enter, and there's my X's in there, okay? Next thing I got to do is put my insulation in there. And to do the insulation, I'm going to use a spline. So click on the draw down here. Click on the first one there. And now this time I want to just kind of click someplace, anywhere in here, a little bit here. And we're going to kind of go back and forth. Just drag it back and forth all the way down. Oops, I don't want to go up there. I'm going to do that one. Let me go a little closer. Close. It's just a curved line. So it's hit there, hit. Oops. Uh, Z undo and just come back down here and then hit enter, enter. And then it's finished. There it is. The curve line is my insulation. That's the insulation there. So again, I'm going to put O enter, 6 enter. Click O enter, 6 enter. Click there to put my ceiling joist. L enter. Come down there. Now this one we don't have, a, there's no end joist or band joist on the ceiling joist, it's just a ceiling joist, but I've got to put my spline in there for the insulation to show the insulation. So again, just kind of, don't want to, the key thing, object snap comes on, I don't want to object snap anywhere. So I want to make sure that I'm not, no green line comes on, I don't want the green line on at all, so I'm going to click right there, where there's no green line, click there, click there, keep going. I can drag, I can push the wheel in and pan over if I want, so click, hit enter. Just hit, I guess just hit enter and it finishes. There it is right there. And that is my middle part. I'm all done. I've got the insulation, got the wall, got everything there. So the last part is going to be the top part and then the outside brick and stuff. And I'll show you that in the next video. Now that I'm looking at it, I realize we forgot two things. The drywall. So I've got a drywall, drywall here. We're going to put 5 eighths inch drywall, 3 quarters inch drywall. So O enter, 0.75, enter. Put the drywall here. Click below it, there's a drywall there, and I'm going to do the same thing, just click on this line and drag over here, so it's inside there, but see the, the how, how it corner, corner does not, it, it it overlaps, I can't do that, the drywall obviously doesn't intersect with other drywall, so I click on that, click on the gripper, drag down, or I can do TR, enter, enter, and just click on this part right here, to get rid of it, that way the ceiling drywall goes all the way to the wall, and the um, wall drywall just goes there, and make sure it goes all the way to the bottom, and I am, and now I am completely finished with um, this one.